welcome and thank you very much for joining. I wish you good health, wellness, happiness, and satisfaction. Today, we will delve into the complex intersection of chronic fatigue syndrome, CFS, long COVID, and comprehensive well-being. In this video, I would like to share my personal experience as a nurse on the front lines during the challenging period of the Red Line in 2019-2022 and discuss the toll it took on my health and the well-being of healthcare professionals. Myalgic encephalomyelitis, also known as chronic fatigue syndrome, CFS, is a complicated disorder with extreme fatigue that lasts even after rest and is unrelated to any underlying medical condition. The cause of CFS is multifactorial, with factors such as viral infections, genetics, stress, trauma, a weakened immune system, neural inflammation, hormonal imbalances, and HPA axis dysfunction, all playing a role. Childhood trauma is common in individuals with CFS, and a weakened immune system is linked to excessive cytokine release and brain dysfunction. Symptoms of CFS include fatigue, difficulty thinking, sleep problems, a sore throat, headaches, dizziness, and severe tiredness. Brain fog and autonomic nervous system dysfunction are also common. The diagnosis of CFS can be made using the Canadian consensus criteria, which helps rule out other potential causes. Treatment for CFS involves lifestyle changes such as diet modifications, pacing, energy conservation exercises, and nutritional supplements. Psychotherapies like CBT and graded exercise therapy can also be beneficial. Pharmacological interventions may be necessary in severe cases, and medications like antidepressants, stimulants, and mood stabilizers can be used. Complementary therapies, such as acupuncture and fecal microbiota transplants, have also shown promise. Treating CFS requires a multidisciplinary approach involving various healthcare professionals. Each aspect of a condition needs to be targeted appropriately in discussions with a doctor, as each individual's experience with CFS is unique. By understanding the complexity of CFS and addressing its various components, patients can effectively manage their symptoms and improve their quality of life. Long COVID and the complex intersection of chronic fatigue syndrome, CFS, require key strategies to manage their symptoms effectively. Exercise, deep respiratory exercises, and therapies like ozone therapy can promote physical and mental well-being while also addressing symptoms associated with both conditions. These therapies offer benefits like improved circulation, relaxation, and pain relief. Maintaining a healthy diet with moderate eating habits and occasional fasting is crucial for supporting the immune system and improving energy levels. Essential supplements like vitamin B complex, vitamin C, zinc, and vitamin D3 can also support immune function and reduce inflammation. Incorporating bone broth into my diet has been a beneficial approach for me. By simmering animal bones and connective tissues, bone broth is a nutrient-rich liquid. It is packed with essential vitamins, minerals, and amino acids that can support immune function, promote gut health, and provide nourishment during times of fatigue and stress. Regularly consuming bone broth has provided me with a comforting and easy-to-digest source of nutrients, replenishing my energy levels, and supporting my overall well-being. A multidisciplinary healthcare team, including primary care physicians, infectious diseases specialists, immunologists, physiotherapists, and psychologists, can provide tailored treatment plans for each individual. By integrating these strategies, individuals can effectively manage symptoms, improve their quality of life, and navigate the complex intersection of COVID and CFS. In conclusion, viral infections, genetics, stress, trauma, weakened immune systems, neural inflammation, hormonal imbalances, and HPA axis dysfunction are just a few of the factors that can affect the complex condition known as chronic fatigue syndrome, CFS. It often coexists with long-term COVID. Diagnosis of CFS requires understanding the array of symptoms and using the Canadian consensus criteria as a framework. Treatment for CFS involves a holistic approach, including lifestyle modifications, psychotherapies, pharmacological interventions, and complementary therapies. The overlap between CFS and long-term COVID highlights the need for a multidisciplinary approach and tailored treatment plans to effectively manage symptoms and improve quality of life. Thank you. We hope you found this guide informative and inspiring. Don't forget to show your support by liking and subscribing. I truly appreciate your gratitude and support.